I have a couple things to say before we start this video. Can we just first acknowledge my shirt? Can we just acknowledge this? Now that the important stuff is out of the way, I have something else to say. I know what you guys are thinking. Jessica, you think you could just disappear off YouTube for a couple months and then come back and act like nothing happened? Yes, yes I think I can do that because uh, I, I am doing that. No, honestly, I made a video talking about things and like what was really going on. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna post it. <laughs> I just don't think there's a reason to anymore. I feel like, I'm just gonna be honest. I miss YouTube, I miss talking to you guys, I miss making stuff, like making videos and just having fun. Like I love editing and filming and researching, like I love this stuff. And I know you guys love it too because you guys always ask me like, when are you gonna make a new video? Post a video, sis, and I'm just like, drag me. Uh, <laughs> no, but honestly, uh, God. 2019 just fucking sucked. It was like the world pushed me down and 2019 just kept kicking me. I feel like that kind of happened to everyone last year. I feel like, I feel like people were just going through it. I was just really depressed and not myself and I could tell every time I made a video, I would watch it and it would just be very apparent that like I wasn't really present and I wasn't having a good time, so I didn't want to post. I made a lot of videos that I have on my computer that I just didn't upload because I could see that I wasn't myself. It just, it wasn't good, okay? And now I just feel like I can be honest with you guys and just be real and be myself again. I thought, what better than to come back with a spooky video? So this morning I slept for like three hours, all right? I woke up and I played on my phone and I just fell down this like, scary ass internet hole of just like weird shit in the world, okay? And I found all of these abandoned places, which I don't know why, but abandoned places creep me the fuck out. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, it's like every time I've had an opportunity to visit an abandoned place, I'm like, no thank you. I don't want to go. There's a reason people don't fucking go there anymore. Like, I don't, I don't need to be there. I feel like there's like energy, ugh, ugh. Anyways, sorry. I was reading about a bunch of places this morning and I was like, I have to make a video about this. So the first place I'm gonna talk to you guys about is a haunted abandoned hotel. It's in Colombia called the Hotel de Santo. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm gonna butcher all of these names, just letting you know. So this building is an abandoned hotel. It was last used in the 90s. It was first opened in 1928 to serve tourists visiting the nearby 157 meter Tequendama Falls. I literally saw these pictures and I was like, holy shit, that is so beautiful. Like imagine, first of all, just being in that hotel that's like beautiful in general. Second of all, looking outside your window and seeing this huge ass gorgeous waterfall, people actually started losing interest in this hotel when rumors started spreading about contaminated waters. So because people stopped going, it had to close in the early 90s. The building is still there. It was actually converted into a museum in 2012 but locals claim that it's haunted because apparently a lot of people go there to kill themselves. What would they do? Would they just jump off the building and like into the water? Or would they just jump off like the side of the hill? Oh my God, ew. You know what I was thinking today? What? I was literally thinking about how I've never liked water, like bodies of water. Why? Oh. Oh my God. Why? I just remember when we were younger, we would go on a lot of road trips and stuff and we would like go to lakes and rivers and I would be the only one that was like, I'm not getting in the water. I think I was just afraid of like fish or whatever was in the water that I didn't know was in the water. Mm -hmm. I'm very passionate about this, okay? <laughs> Most of the ocean is undiscovered. Does that not freak you out? Like we literally have no idea what's in the water. That's and scary. people like, oh my God. And people, oh my God, this is my number one. Mm. How many dead bodies do you think are in the ocean? How many dead bodies? do you think are in your nearby lake? I may be crazy for thinking that, but every single time I look at a, a large body of water, I'm like, there are definitely dead people in there. And y'all wanna surf in there? Y'all wanna put your kids, kids in, in the ocean water? I forgot what we were talking about. Suicide. Oh yeah, suicide. So apparently this building is really haunted. I haven't found, oh, let me see. Okay, so there is a local legend. The indigenous Muisca, I fucked up the name, I'm sorry, Indians used to jump from Tequendama Falls to avoid capture by Spanish conquerors during the conquest of South America. And where upon falling, they would transform into an eagle and fly to their freedom. Aww. 
Oh, that's so sad. I'm down to go. I love haunted shit. All right, speaking of water, I have another one. So the next one I have for you guys is a very creepy abandoned Soviet submarine base. So this is in Russia and it was last used in the 1980s. It was actually left unfinished. People think that this place was built as a nuclear bunker for the Soviet Union to protect their nuclear submarines. The base features two large tunnels to house submarines with a maze of much smaller ones for personnel. It is still abandoned to this day and can be found with frozen water in the submarine docking areas. I don't know why that one creeped me out so much. I think it's because it's like tunnels. Tunnels freak me out too. Maybe everything scares me. Maybe I'm just a little bitch. No, that one is spooky. Look at the pictures and tell me that's not spooky. Oh, so this next one I had to put in because it's a very spooky abandoned military hospital in Germany. So apparently it was last used around the 90s. The Bielitz Hilstatten Hospital is situated near Berlin in a little town called Bielitz. It was originally built at the beginning of the 20th century to treat tuberculosis with an entire facility comprising around 60 buildings. That's kind of huge. So this military hospital was used during the World Wars and was also used for Nazi experiments during World War II. During the final days of the war, the facility was captured by Soviet forces and became their biggest military treatment center outside of Russia until 1994. Small parts of it are still used for neurological research and treatment, but most are left abandoned. So this next one is really creepy. It's almost like if the world just stopped. This next one is Pripyat, Ukraine. Pripyat was the city most affected by the Chernobyl nuclear disaster in 1986. The incident released massive amounts of radiation forcing everyone to leave. The spot is now one of the most well-known abandoned places in the world. If you go there, you could still find toys in schoolhouses, all of the clocks are stopped at the same time, and they also have the most famous decaying amusement park. The park has actually become so famous that the Ukraine is making it an official tourist attraction. Okay, this next one I thought was actually really cool. I could imagine if you're there alone or like even in the dark, I would freak the fuck out. <laughs> so this next one is St. George's Church in the Czech Republic. So this church was originally built in 1352. The church was actually nearly destroyed by many fires over the centuries and the roof actually partially collapsed. Oh God, this isn't funny. The roof actually partially collapsed during a funeral service in 1968. Can you just imagine you're at a funeral and the building starts falling apart. It was actually after that that the congregation decided that the church was haunted. <laughs> Everybody actually refused to enter the building and so it became abandoned and people began to actually vandalize the church. In 2012, an art student at the University of West Bohemia had an idea to get people to come back to the church. The art student actually decided to add a collection of 30 ghost sculptures sitting in the pews with their heads bowed. People still go to the ghost church to this day and take pictures and hang out. Is that rude to take pictures in a church? I don't know. I guess not because that's what it's there for, but. As of now, there are no signs or talk of that place or anything there being removed. So that will probably be there for a while. Oh my gosh, okay. This next one is literally what made me want to make this video. <laughs> I don't know why, but seeing these pictures, they just made me feel some type of way. So this next one is actually an Australian wildlife park that was abandoned. Maybe you guys heard of this story already. I feel like a lot of people know this one already. I haven't heard of it until literally this morning, but I thought this shit was so cool and also really sad. <laughs> and very creepy. So there's an abandoned wildlife park called Wildlife Wonderland in Australia. It actually closed down in 2012 because of animal welfare concerns and operating without appropriate licenses. This place is actually pretty big. Apparently they had a lot of stuff. It was really popular in the early 2000s. There's actually a vlog that someone made of them exploring the abandoned area. I watched it, I'll link it down below. It's like 40 minutes, I think. I guess people lived there. There was like mattresses and bedrooms and like children's bedrooms. And like, I don't really know what the fuck was going on there, but it was like really creepy. But people left like all the stuff in the fridge and they left family photos and it was just really creepy. But the part that like got me, oh my gosh, you guys. But the part that got me is they went into a room and there was a big ass tank. And keep in mind, like, there's no electricity. It's all dark. They're like in this dark room. And then he flashes the light on and there's a big ass shark in this tank. Like a real shark, it's, it's dead. It's a real shark though. And it was left to rot in this tank. So apparently this is a very famous shark. 
Her name was Rosie. They called her Rosie the shark. She was a great wife. She was originally on display at that wildlife park. She was like sitting like propped up and in formaldehyde to preserve her but i guess that the owner had nowhere to put this huge tank this like huge shark so he just left it there so that shark had been there rotting for years the story of the shark was basically that a family who was fishing for tuna found the shark because it was caught in their fishing nets she didn't survive because of all the wounds but the wildlife park took her and kept her on display so when this guy's vlog came out, people saw this and they were like actually pissed that people, <laughs> that these people left a giant ass shark abandoned to rot. It's kind of sad, like it's really sad. But anyways, people actually raised, I think $100,000 to relocate the shark. They actually relocated her in February of 2019. They actually took the tank she was in, even though it was like graffitied and smashed in because people after the vlog went to go see the shark and they just fucked it up because people are idiots. They took the tank and the shark in it and they relocated her to a showroom in Melbourne. So those were actually my favorite stories. I have one more because I thought, I don't know why I thought it was funny. It's probably not funny, I'm probably just fucked up, but I thought it was funny. This is just a little bonus, a little bonus one for you. So this last one is actually in China and people decided to build a mini version of Paris in China. <laughs> this whole thing was built in 2007. As you can see, they have a replica of the Eiffel Tower. Apparently this whole city was supposed to hold about 10,000 people, but people couldn't afford to live there. So it only housed 2,000 people. It eventually became a ghost town. It wasn't as romantic and cool as people thought it was gonna be. And now people go there to take faux pictures of them in Paris. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. It's, I think it's funny that people take pictures there and they're saying I'm, I'm in Paris and it's like not Paris it's definitely like a very very creepy not okay version of Paris um but I think it's cute it's cool I like it anyways guys that's all I have for you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed this I miss being back hanging out with you guys um this was really fun if you guys want more comment down below what you guys want to see tell me which one was your favorite um, let me know if you guys have even heard of any of these. I literally have never heard of any of these places. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, then I'm sorry. Hopefully you guys will like the next one. And subscribe. And let's hang out. Send this video to your friends. And let them know that you're thinking of them. Alright, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And I will see you guys when I see you guys. Enjoy my outro music.